Dazzle, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Vendron Dungeon Master figures from the Dungeons and Dragons toy line. As you can see, they arrived in a bigger box right here. And they came with a little display poster right here. Let's take a look at Venger. And he kind of has that evil, devilish look to it. And in the show, Venger is voiced by Peter Cullen, who is the original Optimus Prime, as you can see here. And let's run. And when you first open up Venger, the first thing you'll notice, his wings are unattached. So he has a small hole on his back to where his wings plug in. Their wings are on a small peg right here. And they plug into his back like so. Let's run down his articulation. The head is going to turn both left and right. And go up and down a little bit. The back of his helmet hits him a little bit, so we're only going to get left and right. He has ball-like hinge joints at the shoulders. The little pieces are a softer material, so... And they have a slit in the back right there, too. So, it is not going to hinder his. Rotated the elbow. Bended the elbow and rotate the wrist, as well as an up and down movement at the wrist. He has a slight ab crunch articulation, as well as a chest swivel. The row piece has a bit of a pliability to it. So, but, you know, it is a bit rigid, so you can't get a wide of him. And you can't make him go in a sitting pose. He has double joints at the knees. Twist at the boot cut. And his ankles go forward and back and swell side to side. And Venger comes with this big dice. Which I don't know what it is. It's like a 20 sided die or whatever it is. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And Venger has something we've never seen on a Dungeons and Dragons figure before. Interchangeable hands. So, he comes with the Spell Blast hand. And, what you, and both his hands are removable. They're on these little small pegs right here. Let's pop off these hands and let's let's see here In. Right here. And now Avenger has spell blasting hands right here. regular hands back on. Right, now let's move on to Dungeon Master. So Dungeon Master, if you, any of you have played Dungeons and Dragons, the Dungeon Master's part is to tell 
the story. And let's run down Dungeon Master's articulation. It had it will turn with left and right a little bit. The hair in the back, however, is a rigid plastic, so you're not going to get much left and right movement. Well, the hair bits are a softer, pliable material. And he has a bone showing at the shoulder, and he has no elbow articulation. He has a turn at the wrist, as well as an up and down movement at the wrist. And he has no knee articulation and no ankle articulation. And he comes with this times 10 dice. Dice. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.